So just a quick revision for vertical layering. So I've opened up FMOD here. I can see at the top it's FMOD Studio 2.00.04. This of course is the same number that needs to match our Unity package. Um, I'm gonna create a new project. When I create a new project, it shows me my event editor. I need to create a new event over here. So if I right click, I can have a new event. And a 3D event does binauralization. So it tries to put the, the sounds around you in 3D space, in front, behind, up, left, down, right, all that stuff. We're only gonna use 2D. So I'm gonna name my event. When that's named, I can see this is unassigned. This is, means if I was to save this now and try and integrate it into Unity, nothing's gonna happen. It needs to be assigned to a bank. So I'm gonna right click it, assign to a bank, and assign it to our master bank. This unassigned disappears, and it means that event will be viewable in Unity once I get into it. Uh, so I am going to go into the event itself now. I can see an audio track. Command T will give me new tracks, and I'm gonna put in four layers. I'm gonna rename each of these, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop in my audio files. So if I, if I go to where I have my search already, I can drag and drop in my audio files. Now I've named each of these audio files uh, 120 BPM. So I'm just gonna make sure that I add a tempo marker by clicking in the logic track up here, this black strip between what looks like our timeline and our audio. I'm gonna click add tempo marker and this is 120 BPM and it's 4-4. So let's just have a quick. <laughs> to view the whole uh, region to zoom out, I'm gonna do control command and the left bracket. So at the moment, all of these play at once. I have layer one. Layer two. roughly balance these so that they're all audible. those I can hear exactly what disappears hear exactly what leaves I'm now going to add in a loop region by again clicking in my logic track I'm going to set a point where I can loop that piece of music it doesn't matter if I allow a fade in or I allow it to run in all I want is a clean loop point to it there. So I have my loop set up and I'm going to just drag that down so I can see that separately in my logic track. So I have a rough balance of each of these. I have a loop point set up that kind of works across the loop point. I have my tempo in. Now I just want to be able to 
create vertical layering. I want this to be reactive music. Nothing is reacting at the moment. Everything is playing at the same time. So the way we do this is we create a parameter. So I'm going to create a parameter here. Let's call it health. And let's say it goes from 0 to 100. And let's say our initial value is 100. So what happens here is health starts at 100 and it drops down. What I want is I want different layers or different pieces of music to fade in and out as my health gets lower. So let's find the smallest. Let's say tree is our smallest piece of music. I want tree to be the layer in when I have 100% health. Things are not very dramatic. Everything else, I'm going to add automation to the volume. And this gives me this automation lane. So let's find the second most intense. Yeah, that's probably it. And then the high melody. Okay. So let's say we want it in that order. We want number four to come in next. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a volume. So when it co my health comes from 100 down, it's going to fade in my layer four. Then I want when my health comes down further, I fade in layer one. And when my health gets really low, I fade in layer two. So now I have it that when I play my music, I can only hear one track. Layer three is playing. So now when my health has gone below 70, I faded in layer four. I faded in the next layer as my health goes below 50. And as my health goes really low, the music gets a little bit more hectic. Let's see, make just this a little bit louder to make that more dramatic. And that's vertical layering. Now, the only thing we need to worry about this or to add to this with vertical layering is to look at the thing called seek speed. So if I have my health tab here, I can click to see my audio or click to see what happens when I change my health value. If I double click on this or click it a second time down the very bottom here, it brings this. It gives us a value and a velocity for changing our value over time, which is not what we want to use. And it also gives us a seek speed. So the seek speed gives us a number of values we're going to change per second. So let's set that to two values per second. And if I play the music and I turn my health down, this fades in. It changes two values of health per second. Now it's going to go to zero because I've set it to go to zero, this has just slowed it to fade it in. Now where people make a big mistake is this is not the number of seconds, it's the amount it changes per second. So if I set this to a high value, like 50, and my music plays, it very quickly changes. Now, what I can do to make that work a bit better is I can set that to be asymmetric. So when it's fading down and going up, it does not need to be the same. So I could have that when my health is going back up, I do it instantly. The music will cut, it'll go back to a normal value. But when it's descending, it fades in maybe 10 values per second. So let's set our health to 100. <laughs> So what happens there is it eases into our new values. But if I play it again, and, I, and I've collected a health parameter, it just jumps straight back and cuts out the new layers added in. So we find that when they're going out, it's less of a, it's less dramatic. We don't feel it as, as dramatically, but when it comes in, we want to fade that and subtly bring that back in. That is the basics of vertical layering.